now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the blue corner from France, Le Boisha Black Book Scale. So a terrific night of action well underway here at the Indigo O2 in the heart of London. And a very warm welcome if you are just joining us on the world feed. Uh, two contests down here at Lion Fight 41 and Muay Thai Grand Prix edition 15. Making his way to the ring, the Vosha Gale. This one scheduled for three three minute rounds at 72 kilos. An A class Muay Thai rules bout. La Vosha And now, please welcome to the red corner from Crowley George Unit Chavez. So all smiles for George Jarvis on the big stage here at the O2. It's uh, a near packed house. Yeah. Just after 7.30 here. Yeah, it's so good to see uh, George Jarvis showcasing on this big stage, going out all over the world. Such a, a, a talented young man. I remember back in the day when I was fighting, he was uh, up to my waist. I think he was fighting at like 40 kilos. Wow. He showed promise from that young age. And now he's a mountain of a man. <laughs> Fighting today is 72 kilos. And his dad, of course, John Jarvis. And this MTGB A class fight type rules bout will take place in the minus 72 kilogram division over three three minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly fighting out of the blue corner, bringing an impressive record of 14 wins and only three defeats. Representing Sok Muay Thai in France, it's Lubaisha Black Books. Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. A fresh face, 18 years of age, with two wins and no defeats. Representing Lupini Jim in Crawley, it's G Unit George Jarvis. So you had it there. Fight record of 4 0. Oh. Frenchman, 14 wins, 3 losses. More experienced of the two. A big step up is for George Jarvis on a big stage. Yeah, How will he respond? At Jarvis has a, years a, of age. a wealth of experience as a junior. So he will be very comfortable in there. Don't you worry. Lovely left. To the body from Southpaw there and again doubles it up great start that's beautiful range there kicking and evading Isn't Jarvis does really well at working from Southpaw and switching orthodox comfortable doing both nice work from Jarvis just made his opponent missed straight back on him, backing him into the corner early. He's given away three kilos in weight. Doesn't look like it, did it? You wouldn't see it, would you? No, absolutely not. You would have said, if anything, it was the other way around. Yeah, Jarvis looks huge at the weight. He's only 18 years old. He's not finished growing. I think 
and they feed him well in the Jarvis household. What snapping force of that. They're a fighting family, his, his uh, big brother Jack Jarvis, fighter too. But right now it's uh, the baby of the family, who's not such a baby anymore. Here representing his country on line fight 41. He's made a good start, isn't he? Just using that range really, really well. Seems to have Rebosha Gales timing down as well. Just made him miss on several occasions. Has landed a few body kicks with spite and accuracy too. Been a competent start. Oh, lovely move there. So he caught the kick and just led his man on and little turn. Beautiful kick and block. You see that? He's drilled that and drilled that. Left body kick and then the knee comes up for the block straight back. As you say, Dave, at 18, 19, you haven't reached full strength, but there didn't seem to be any problems with power. Yeah, you can hear that. And look at the, the colour of the right arm of Gail. It's going to beetroot colour. That kick is smashing in every time. As you say, even when he's trying to take the impact off him with the the gloves kind of trying to parry them away they're still landing with force just misses there though but he's landed the majority of them in this opener don't be taking too many of them across the arm gail's gonna i've seen people's arms break from that gail's gonna feel that lovely way he just moves back out of range Looks comfortable on the back foot, doesn't he? No, uh, no feeling that sense that he's under pressure. Just moving back under his own steam, and then pushes his way forward, just methodically, spitefully again. And as you say, look at the colour of the right arm. Yeah. Lavisha Gale as first round ticks by. Look Whoa, at the what an welt. On start. The, look at the welt on the forearm, on the right forearm oh, of Gale. My goodness. Like he's, a, got like an a, he's got a golf ball growing out of his forearm wow. now. Do not want to take too many more of them. Something's well, going to give. Absolutely, his corner with the ice pack hard at work on that right arm. And uh, goodness me, George Jarvis in stark contrast, just looking at a picture of composure in his corner. And you can't really buy that kind of composure at that age. I think it's either there or it's not, right? Beautiful work though from Jarvis. Just very relaxed. When he does throw, he throws with power, impact, intent. Lovely to see. Simple stuff done well. That's what we like to see. Gordon, 10 seconds. Well, the Lumpini gym and the lads there in his corner will be pleased with the start that their man has made. Uh, Luke Hill fighting soon. Reese Thompson just fought. Very active gym. Obviously, Ruth Ashdown we saw earlier tonight. But this is all about our man, George Jarvis, now. Oh, stinging in on that well, Bang on the button, it was. And then one to the body. Look at that. Spiteful, isn't it, from Jarvis? That right arm is going to get damaged. And there you go, he went to the head. Oh, beautiful move. Lovely work from Jarvis. Absolutely no question marks over his strength at his age. And if next two or three years are any indication, he's only going to get stronger. What a force he has the potential to be. That body kick is beautiful. That left body kick of Jarvis. Finding its mark every single time. And then you saw a little while ago, he was hitting the arm, hitting the arm, hitting the arm, and then he went to the head as soon as the arm came down. It's like a lion stalking its prey and just making you make a mistake and then punishing you for it. I'm out, I'm out. Good body kick there from Miguel, though. Yeah, and a timely reminder that just occasionally things are going to come back, and that's good for Jarvis to just keep his wits about him. Another He's rear leg kick just crashing in. He's not going to want too many more of them on the arm. Right on that welt. You don't hear the crack sometimes because I think it's landing on that pocket of fluid, softening the noise. There you go, oh. that was pure shin on forearm. You can see the frustration and pain in Gail's face now. 
Jarvis just sticking to the game plan, doing what he does well, shutting the ring off, punishing with that left body kick. There's a mark of a, a good fighter when they look as if they've got all the time in the world and he's just making it look like the ring is 90% his and 10% Gales, just backing him up onto the ropes, giving him no space. And when he does retreat, you just feel as if he's doing it completely on his terms. Yeah, exactly. So really mature, well-rounded, balanced performance from Jarvis, well beyond his years. Yeah, beautiful kick and then block. Lovely deep force with that, just backed. Gale two-thirds of the way across the ring, comes in behind the elbow now into the clinch. This is terrific work from Jarvis. Lovely turn there, it was a good attempt, but the thing that saved Gale was actually his foot was, went through the ropes and that stopped him going over, he would have gone over. Jarvis is strong in the clinch. Oh, he is just missed with the spinning fist there. He just had a brief look up to the clock, Jarvis, but there was a, a real measure of control about it. It wasn't in the kind of moment of panic, it was just uh, how long have we got left. He's paced this brilliantly so far. Look at the colour of that arm. It's the timing of everything that he's doing. Cuts off the ring well again, creates the space, lands the high kick. Well, what a start for young George Jarvis. Two rounds down, two rounds firmly in the bank for him. I'm not sure that they could have asked any more from him, really, Dave. No, I mean, he's doing everything right as we watch the replay here. Catches the kick, counters back, closes the ring off, steps just out of range, then makes sure he gets his feet in there first. Look at that lovely sweep. He just stands over his opponent. And again, stepping out, taking the centre of the ring. Got, got caught there and then comes straight back. All in 10 seconds. I think uh, Gail is running out of ideas here. And running out of time as well as Jarvis just beats his chest, looks up to a small pocket of fans in the arena who have come to support him. He's put on a great show for them, but more importantly, he's just announced himself in front of the biggest audience that he would have fought in front of, both watching at home and in this arena too. You can see the pain in Gail's face, and it's partly physical pain, I think, and partly mental pain of just running out of ideas and getting battered with this leg kick, uh, sorry, uh, body kick of uh, George Jarvis. As you were speaking, another just landed straight on the, the welt of that arm, and the fluid has just kind of flooded the forearm now. It's no longer just a single welt. It's just need to fill the, the whole of the upper arm and the forearm too. Yeah, he's going to need to get compression on that afterwards, and uh, he'll remember that for a while. It's far too late to be uh, blocking now. Damage is done. It's unusual, isn't it, as well, Dave? Usually we see the, the front leg chopped or the rear leg chopped, and one of those legs will go dead, and we see huge welts around the quad, sometimes the, the kind of side of the thigh, but so rarely on that kind of area of, of the arm, you see it almost so regularly just crashing home and causing such damage. It's one of those, it's, uh, it's a big score. And he sh Jarvis is just showing effect. He's kicking the body kick with power every time. I think it, was, it might have been uh, John Wayne Parr who fought on this show before, mm, yes. who uh, broke uh, Bruce Preacher McPhee's arm doing that, uh, oh. body kicking on the arm, if I remember rightly, back in the day. There's only so much of that you can take, and the shin bone is normally a lot stronger than the forearm. John Wayne Park, of course, came up here uh, 18 months ago or so to a huge reception. That right arm's really hurting Gale now. Oh, my goodness, and then just switches it up. Well, he's, he's uh, full of bravado and full of gamesmanship. There's no doubt that uh, he's going to be sore in the morning if he isn't already. Lupecia Gale. And he's really brave, teeps back again. Lovely work there from Jarvis. He's just been 
tenderised by the combinations, the variety, the spite and the accuracy of this young man who... Look at that, turn and knee. Superb work there from Jarvis. Absolutely, and he's just got a, a, a bright, bright future, isn't he? If tonight's performance is anything to go by. Yeah, this has been years in the making, though. This kid's got it in his, bre his breeding. His dad runs the gym. Like I say, he's been fighting since he was a kid, but now he's stepped up. He's got man strength, and he's only oh. 18 years old. Very promising, still growing physically and still growing as a fighter, but this wow. is a superb performance tonight. Yeah, it's about as one-sided as you'll see, and Gael has shown real resilience and durability and fighting spirit, but my goodness, he was Very absolutely out-fought, <laughs> out-hustled, out-skilled and out-powered by this terrific young prospect in George Jarvis. And Dave, we don't normally preempt the scores, but I think it's safe to well. say that's about as one-sided as you'll see in a Muay Thai event. And George Jarvis could be extremely proud of his efforts this evening. Yeah, that was a, a very dominating performance there from George Jarvis, and one he should be proud of. To talk us through some of the highlights, the best bits of what he was doing so well, Dave. Yeah, you see him taking the centre of the stage there. Evade counter when this time is right and then just set yourself again for the next move well our master of ceremonies peter lowe is standing by with both fighters for the official results ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause for both these men after three excellent rounds and at the conclusion of those three rounds of action your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision all in favor of your winner fighting out of the red corner is George G-Unit Jarvis.